G'day mates. If you use a CPAP machine for sleep apnea, then chances are you've downloaded a companion app that links to your device so you can track your therapy. ResMed has My Air, Sleep Style has Sleep Style, Philips has the Dream Mapper, and there's a bunch of others in between. Now these apps are great for beginners because they're simplistic, easy to understand. They're like training wheels when you're learning to ride a bike. However, at some point in time, those training wheels become annoying. You want to rip them off, pop a few monos, hit a few dirt jumps, and learn to ride like the wind. Today I'm going to show you how using the sleephq.com app. That's my app. Let's do it. Step one, download the SleepHQ iOS app from the App Store. Click the link above. Give it a great review while you're there. Now SleepHQ is also a web application, so you can use it on any device that has an internet browser like Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever you use. Just visit sleephq.com, sign in, and you're good to go. Now, the difference between SleepHQ and these other apps is these apps are utilizing what's called summary data, the basic data, the training wheels. Whereas SleepHQ, we use the detailed data. This is the data that your clinician gets, and it's held on the SD card, or with the sleep style, very unique, they have a USB stick. And I normally do these demonstrations using you know, the ResMed devices, but I thought we'd mix it up today and we'll use the Info USB stick, the dongle. So basically what we need to do is we need to get the data from this to Sleep HQ. And today we're using the iOS app. So you'll need to get this little cable here. This is an on-the-go USB reader. If you have a ResMed device and you want to use an iPad or an iPhone, you'd use a on-the-go SD card reader. And just make sure the other part that goes into the charging port on your phone is compatible. For example, my phone has a lightning cable, so lightning goes in there. All right, so let's get down to business. So in she goes, and I'll put links to all these in the description down below. They're very cheap. And then we, Get the dongle, info USB stick, little light starts flashing there. Then we can open up Sleep HQ. Now this is all my Apple Health sleep stage data from last night. I've got my blood oxygen levels as well, my heart rate. So much information and you can combine this with your CPAP therapy data, which is why it's such a powerful platform. Not a great night last night, to be honest. I woke up at 4.30 and I was up, so I just got out of bed. All right, which just shows I'm human after all, hey? All right, let's go to imports down the bottom here. Step one, select machine. Now currently, if we click this here, these are all the devices compatible with Sleep HQ. So we've got the ResMed devices, Fisher & Paykel, Philips, and we're adding more shortly. So here's the sleep style here. Number one is done. Number two, add files. So tap select files. This will open up the files app on your phone. Now, tap Browse up the top left. After you've done this the first time, you shouldn't have to tap Browse again, but the first time you might have to tap Browse, and then you locate the folder where all the files are, and you can see it's right here, FPHCare. So I tap that, and then I just tap Open. We don't need to go down the subfolders. Once we've selected the drive, like we just did, tap Open, and now SleepHQ has analyzed the files on the dongle, and you can see here I've got a green tick next to the FPH care folder, which is all that's required. And then I tap begin upload. And there we go. Now, this is important. If it's your very first upload with Sleep HQ and you've got a laptop or PC, I recommend that you do it through the web application first, if you can. Um, it's just because if you've been using a CPAP machine for many years, there'll likely be gigabytes of data on your dongle, on your SD card. And smartphones are not really designed to handle that much data on the upload. They can do it, we can do it, but it's just sometimes a little bit messy. So it just takes a long time. If you do it with your PC, you can put it in there. First upload might take 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Go make yourself a cup of coffee, whatever it is, and leave your computer running. 
every subsequent upload is much faster because we skip all those files and only upload the new files, all right? But the first upload can take a bit of time. Um, but mine is uploading now, all right? You can see it there, 36%. And once it's done, I will show you the charts. And here's all our data. All right, so we've got a whole lot more information here. We've got a breakdown of all the different events, obstructive apneas, central events, hypopneas. We've got our machine settings. We've got the statistics here. But this is where the good stuff is. So scroll down and you can see here, we've got our pressure trace. We can see how the automatic algorithm is adjusting the pressure delivery through the night in response to your breathing data. And that's the power of Sleep HQ and what sets us apart from the beginner apps. We have every single breath throughout the night, every single hypopnea, every single apnea flag. And with this device, we also get the sense awake flags and the airflow limitation flags. So we can tell when you woke up. Let's zoom in right here on the breathing trace. Just click and drag. There we go. It's right here, SA. And you can see, if we just tap the little arrows, we can scroll through the chart here. You can see there's a break in the pressure trace. There's a break in the breathing trace because this is likely when someone got up and went to the toilet. And just before they got up, you can see the Fisher and Pikel there. They knew that the patient had woken up they mark the flag there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll just reset the charts here. We also have all our leak rate data, which is really important to see all these periods throughout the night where our mask is leaking or perhaps our mouth is leaking. You can also see on this example, we've got blood oxygen, SpO2. Now this isn't coming from the CPAP device. This is coming from a Sleep HQ O2 ring. And the beauty of Sleep HQ is you can combine pulse oximeters, CPAP data, as well as Apple Health data, sleep stage data from an Apple Watch, an Aura Ring, a Ringcon. I've got a lot of devices. All right, so we've got some pulse rate data coming here. We've got movement data, moving throughout the night in bed, and so on. Now, I won't go into a full um, tutorial in this video because it's long enough and I just want to demonstrate that that app is available to you guys for free. There is a paid membership option, but you're welcome to use it for free. Check out 30 days of your detailed CPAP data and it's a rolling 30 days. So I will always look back 30 days. You can use it as long as you like. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. One more thing just before I go. If you currently use a ResMed device with Sleep HQ, you do have the option of using a magic uploader. Now what this does is it connects your CPAP machine up to your home Wi-Fi, so you no longer have to do manual SD card uploads. Every 10 minutes your CPAP machine sends that information to the Sleep HQ cloud, so you can open up the app anytime and your data's already there. Put some information in the description down below. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you soon, cheers.